Hi friends, today we are going to learn Structural Analysis 3 Analysis of Continuous Beam by Stiffness Method. In the previous sessions, we analyzed the continuous beam using physical approach. In this session, we are going to analyze the continuous beam using element approach. Problem number 1. Analyze the continuous beam shown in the figure. Here we have an overhanging beam, so as the first step, we need to convert the overhanging portion. That is MBA. MBA will be 100 into 3. It is in the anti-clockwise direction. So the value will be minus 300 kN meter. MDE. 100 into 2. This is in the clockwise direction. So the value will be positive 200 kN meter. Draw the equivalent structure. The next step is to find the degree of kinematic indeterminacy using the equation 3j minus r plus m. We have three number of joints, four reactions and two members. The substituting these values, we will get the value of degree of kinematic indeterminacy as 3. The rotation at B, C, D, theta B, theta C and theta D are the three independent displacement components taken. Draw the coordinates. The next step is to assign the element coordinate. In the direct stiffness method, we assign the coordinates as 1 star, 2 star for each members. Here, in the element approach, we have to assign the coordinates as 1 star, 2 star for the member BC and 3 star, 4 star for the member CD. The next step is to develop the displacement transformation matrix. The displacement transformation matrix, matrix D, may be developed by giving a unit displacement successively at system coordinates 1, 2 and 3 and determining the displacement at element coordinates 1 star to 4 star. Thus, to generate the first column of matrix, matrix D, give a unit displacement at system coordinate 1 without any displacement at other system coordinates and determine the displacement at element coordinates 1 star to 4 star. These displacements are d1 star 1 equal to 1, d2 star 1 equal to d3 star 1 equal to d4 star 1 equal to 0. d1 star 1 means the displacement at element coordinate 1 star due to unit displacement at global coordinate 1. That is, at coordinate 1, we have to provide a unit displacement since 1 star is near, it will have a value equal to 1. The 2 star, 3 star and 4 star are too far. So it will have the value which will be equal to 0. Similarly, the second and third column of matrix, matrix D may be generated. The displacement transformation matrix is found to be D matrix equal to 1, 0, 0, 0. 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. This is D1 star 1. This is D2 star 1. This is D3 star 1. And this is D4 star 1. Similarly for the second and third column. The stiffness matrix of member B, C and C, D with respect to their respective element coordinates are. We will find the stiffness matrix using the equation 2 E i by L into matrix 2 1 1 2. For the member B, C, we will have the value of i as 2 i and the length 10. For C, D, the value is i and the length is 5. Substituting these values, we will get the matrices. Unassembled stiffness matrix that is matrix K star is obtained by placing the element stiffness matrices along the ma main diagonal. That is we have to place the matrices or the element stiffness matrices along the main diagonal. Along the diagonal and we have to provide zeros in the empty places. This develop the matrix. Substituting from equation 1 and 2 into the equation k equal to 
metrics d transpose into metrics k star into d metrics system stiffness metrics k may be obtained substitute the values and develop the metrics k at coordinate 1 and 3 there are joint loads we have joint loads at coordinate 1 and 3 so the value of p1 will be minus 300 kilo newton meter p2 equal to 0 and p3 equal to 200 kilo newton meter and develop the matrix now we have to find the fixed and moments we have discussed in the earlier session how to find the fixed and moments similarly we need to find the fixed and moments and find the moments of each members now the restoring forces p1 star will be equal to minus 250 kilo newton meter it will only have the effect of the member dc for p2 star it will have the effect of the member cb and cd for p3 dash it will have the effect of dc thus develop the matrix now substituting in the equation we'll get the values of theta b theta c and theta d the last step is to find the end moments and also the moment of the loads point loads and also we have to draw the bending moment diagram this completing the question if you like the video like share subscribe and recommend solve civil